Ready? All right. So, are you, have you got the tape being shown too? Tape. So for Fort Knox, I like to put four layers of tape on. You always want to kind of stretch the teat out a little bit when you put the tape on, smooth it on. I fold the corners. There's one. You mean like whoosh them in? The yeah. Corners? Yeah. Yes. All right. And then got another piece about the same as that. Again, two layers, because I've had kids actually suck through a couple of layers of tape, which is pretty annoying. <clears throat> I never really had one go through four layers. So you start with the tip, tip, tip about in the bottom, and then you just kind of hang on to it and smooth. And, and you want to make sure that the teat is kind of uh, flattened out when you're doing this, so that when it gets full of milk, it's got room to expand. Oops, I forgot to fold those in. You want to make sure it's got room to expand because you don't want to cut off the circulation to the teat. Okay, so there's the end and it's all pretty well encased. I'm going to take kind of a longish piece. And you put it on kind of up toward the top where the division is between the teat and the udder. And you just leave like a, but you're still on the paper here. And you leave a little loop on either side for expansion. Yeah, and then and then you kind of take the teat and you kind of spread it in as much as you can to get into the loops and kind of roll it back and forth so it goes on. So she's got room to expand there, but she's still well covered. Is that tape primarily hold on the other tape, or does it have a separate function? It it just keeps the kid from sucking too far up and, and just ripping the whole thing off. Because okay. the other ones, you know, the ends are here, the mm -hmm. kid will suck and they'll just yep. tear it off. Got it. So that's that. And then I just put a couple of little sprays of, of like, you know, the anti-chew stuff that you get for your dog. You want to make sure you're using something sure that... Okay. You want to make sure you're using something that's safe for skin because obviously you're putting it on your doe's teeth. You don't really want to get mastitis, so don't use any, like, really weird for skin, but um, that should do the trick. Thanks. Okay, so when you want to take the tape off, you just start at the top and kind of peel it back a little bit like this, and you kind of roll it down all the way around the top. Like, a, then you just pull it off like a sock. Bleep, like that. Thanks.